Hi folks, Peter Hill, field agronomist with DuPont Pioneer. A lot of ways to evaluate hybrids. You know, we talk about the physical characteristics. Um, you know, ultimately you're going to judge these by their performance, right? Yield bushels per acre. Now, I'm looking at a brand new hybrid here. This is P1366 AMXT, which is a rootworm version of P1366, the overall platform, genetic platform. It's a white cob hybrid, right? How many white cobs are out there? Does it really matter? I, I think for most growers now, um, you know, it's not going to really make any difference going through the combine. Ultimately, it's, it's the yield of this number two yellow corn that we're growing. Um, maybe you're doing yellow food grade, right? You know, so these are all things that, that maybe do matter. Um, how do I, as a field agronomist, evaluate this? You know, you come across all these plots, and of course we do our field days, and you look out there and you're like, man, those are big old ears. And that's, that's a good start, right? But hey, the cob size is irrelevant. Um, that's really, I mean, you're not, unless you're cutting for silage, the cob size and the overall size of the ear, frankly, is just not that important. So, as a field agronomist, right, I, I mean, surely I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see something, you know, with a lot of growth to it that would indicate a lot of rows around and, and possibly high yield potential. But I've been at this too long. I've been at this a little over 20 years and large cobs mean nothing. Um, it's just more you got to put through the combine. So this P1366 then, and, and, and of course this is a random, random pick in the field, right? Of course. 18 rows around and about 34 long. Is every ear out here like that? No. There are some 16s, plenty of 18s, the occasional 14, but I would say on average 16 to 18 rows around and probably 32 to 35 in length. Now, I can tell by just looking at this, you know, I'm still a couple of weeks away from, uh, you know, harvest, possibly harvest around 16% moisture. I think I'm sitting at about 22 right now here in Central Texas. So what's the first thing I did? Um, it's just more you got to put through the combine. So this P1366 then, and, and, and of course this is a random, random pick in the field, right? Of course. 18 rows around and about 34 long. Is every ear out here like that? No. There are some 16s, plenty of 18s, the occasional 14, but I would say on average 16 to 18 rows around and probably 32 to 35 in length. Now, I can tell by just looking at this, you know, I'm still a couple of weeks away from, uh, you know, harvest, possibly harvest around 16% moisture. I think I'm sitting at about 22 right now here in Central Texas. So what's the first thing I do Right, and, and I hope this is the first thing you do. You walk out here and you're like, well, yeah, sure, sure, they're large, right? But, you know, I always take this ear and I will snap this in half and um, always evaluate, I do, I do, from the tip side. I'll break this in half and I go from the tip side and I always look at kernel depth. And we, we like the hybrids that are exceptionally deep with a small cup right that grain to cob ratio and you can pick these out not every hybrid out here has the deep kernels uh, you know we've got a couple i think most every seed company does but again uh, i'm looking at that kernel depth yeah, you know the size of the kernels fine um, i'm more interested in the quality grain quality indicators we've got a lot of videos on the pioneer channel that can help you with that but uh, these are ways that i evaluate again it's not the cob, obviously, it's the depth of the kernel, the rows around, and the, and the kernels per row, right? And that's going to help you decide and evaluate when you're walking across these plots what you think has high yield potential, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed, and with that, please be safe during harvest, and thanks, and have an awesome day.